Hello YouTubers, Rogue Monkey Jr. here, and in today's video, I got something a little bit different for you guys. Um, I actually got uh, the invite for the closed beta of For Honor by Ubisoft. It is a hack and slash game that is available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One as of February 14th, 2017. The game features a hand-to-hand -hand combat system uh, that they describe by the art of battle, and it allows the players to take control of historical soldiers such as medieval knights, samurais, and vikings, and this is all set in the medieval time frame. So for the single player campaign, you are actually fighting against a warlord called Apollyon and believes that the people of the knights, vikings, and samurai have grown weak and they basically she wants to create an all-out war between the three factions and she wants to keep it going for as long as possible by igniting sparks and conflict in between all three of them. So during the single player campaign you get to play as each faction and see what their perspectives are on the different battles that happened during their all-out war in between them and eventually take out the warlord Apollyon. Now let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. So there are for each faction there are four different classes. You have the Vanguard, the Assassin, the Heavies, and the Hybrids. They each have their own strengths and weaknesses, special abilities, and things like that. Seeing as you get to play with three different factions, which are the Vikings, the uh, Samurais, and the Knights, you also get m various uh, types of weapons such as axes, swords, katanas, and stuff like that. And there's actually a big customization system in this game that allows you to uh, modify things like the hilt of your sword, the blade, the handle, the your helmet, or certain parts of your equipment that you have by actually playing the single player campaign and finding items or by purchasing upgrades for your character by earning coins through winning online battles or probably playing through the single player campaign. There's also a big leveling system. You can actually level each character separately. It's not a general leveling system. So for example, let's say you're playing the Kenze class from the Samurai Clan. You actually have to level that character separately in order to unlock its further abilities in the skill tree and upgrade his gear and things like that. In the game, there are also different types of enemies. There are minions, which you can pretty much kill in one blow. And there are stronger enemies in which you will enter into a 1v1 battle. And there are many, many moves in the game that you can experiment with, combos and whatnot and to actually defeat your enemies as well as using your skills and abilities to take them down. Now for the multiplayer aspect of the game. Uh, there are five different game modes for multiplayer as well as multiplayer arenas. So the first one is Dominion. It's a 4v4 multiplayer mode in which players must capture and hold multiple zones in a battlefield. Points are earned through occupying combat zones. When one team earns enough points, they must eliminate the players from the enemy team and win the match. The second game mode is Brawl. It's a 2v2 game mode. A team must eliminate the entire opponent team completely in order to win. Duel is 1v1. It's pretty straightforward. It's just you against the enemy there are no uh, minions as per se in this game mode it's best out of five so if you win three three rounds out of five you are the victorious one then there's skirmish which is a 4v4 multiplayer game mode in which players gain points while killing enemies the team that gains the most points actually wins the game that's a pretty straightforward game mode and elimination a team of players must eliminate the entire team of opponent players in this four versus four multiplayer mode which is pretty much a fight till the death game mode now for the multiplayer arenas there are three different multiplayer arenas map of the legion for the knights uh, map of the chosen for the samurai and map of the warborn for the vikings now this is all part of a meta game called war of the Factions. so when you first load up the game you are asked to choose your allegiance so you either pledge allegiance to the vikings which are warborn samurai which are the chosen or the knights which are the legion this however does not affect which characters you can play you can still play warriors from either faction but it does however affect the uh, war fact war of the factions meta game so basically after each match you are awarded uh, war assets which can be used to attack enemy sectors on the front or defend friendly sectors on the front so every six hours the map updates and whichever side has the most war assets in a sector at the update takes the sector so basically if an attacking factions takes a sector it moves uh, closer towards the enemy territory well, the Defender Territory and the War of the Factions is divided into seasons. And that Pacific season is divided into five rounds of two weeks, making one season ten weeks. So at the end of each round, basically, whichever faction holds the most territory wins and all of its members will get some special items at the end of each round, as I said, and each season. 
Now that I'm done talking about the general part of the game, I'm going to talk about my first impressions. So, uh, it looks really good. Uh, they did a really good job graphically and technically. Um, I'm running the game at 90 frames per second, everything maxed out, and the game looks really good. And as for the gameplay, it's actually quite enjoyable. It is a little bit complicated at first, knowing all the keys and everything, and I do believe that this game would be more appropriate for the console and playing it in your couch with your home theater system as opposed to playing it on the PC with the keyboard and mouse, just for the simple fact that I think that fighter games are hack and slash games are a lot more enjoyable with the controller and like just that's just laying back in your couch it's I find it's just a game that's supposed to be fun and I don't get as competitive in this type of game and the plus thing about this game is you can play co-op in uh, the single player campaign and of course you can play with friends online uh, but the co-op part of this game is what would probably get me into this uh, because I just love co-op games I find it brings another dynamic with your friends they come over you're having fun you're drinking beer or whatever and you're playing the co-op and it's just a lot of fun to play these types of uh, single player campaigns with friend the movement system is very good the, the combat uh, system that they have which is called the art of battle is actually really good it really gets you into the combat as if you were actually uh, a hero or a fighter back in that day it's very brutal you can do uh, executions after you take down your opponent you can push them off a ledge or and stuff like that so it's actually quite a violent game but it really gets you into how the the warriors in that time frame would actually fight against each other and you can see that they put a lot of detail into each character uh, they're very different and the detail on the armor as well as the skin and facial expressions and whatnot is very good they put a lot of work into that you can tell um, I just can't wait to see this history behind uh, the single player campaign that's something I'm really looking forward to you can't play the single player campaign in the closed beta you could only play like free mode uh, practice and you could play online 1v1 2v1 and Dominion I think they did make a good move putting this big progression system in here and actually making seasons with the multiplayer um, I don't think I'm gonna be that much into that I think I would play this game for the single player mostly seeing as it's not really my type of game it would just be a game that I would play every now and then but I wouldn't actually get into the uh, competitive scene of this game although I do believe that many people will really enjoy this and they will have loads of fun playing this game but unfortunately it's not really my type of game to play over and over and spend hours a day on it I do hope Ubisoft will learn from their past mistakes in making uh, poor PC ports, if I can say that, uh, because we all know that they mostly put a lot of effort into console games, seeing as it is the bulk part of the market, and there have been many debates on this. But I just hope that they put as much effort into the PC version of this game as they do for consoles, because I do think it can be a game that will actually uh, do really good and bring them in a lot of money, and people will have a lot of fun playing this game. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I know it was a little bit different, but I really wanted to try For Honor because from the trailers and the teasers and whatnot, it really looked like a fun game. Don't forget, it's coming out on February 14th, 2017. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can get more details on this. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channels for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.